Guys, you know how sometimes you build a website and everything looks fine, but something's missing. It's working, it's fast, and it's pretty. But is it really usable for everyone? That's the part we often skip without realizing it. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, we are diving into a plugin called Ally by Elementor. It's all about making your WordPress site more accessible without losing your mind or needing a dev degree. I'm going to show you how it works, what kind of issues it actually finds, and how the new AI assistant helps you fix them in real time. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump in! Alright, my friends, so let's talk about Alley. This little plugin is from Elementor, and yes, it's totally free. It's made for WordPress creators who want to make their websites more accessible, but without all the usual headaches. You don't need to be a coder or spend hours googling legal rules. Ally just makes it simple, folks. And it's not just a widget that changes text size or adds a dark mode. It's actually a full accessibility system that scans your site, shows you what's wrong, and even helps you fix it. What I really like is that it works on any WordPress site, guys. Even if you're not using Elementor for everything, it just plugs in and does its thing. And folks, this isn't one of those overlays that pretend to fix things by just hiding the problems. It looks at the actual code underneath and helps you clean it up. So it's real fixes, not just a pretty band-aid. Here's the thing, guys. Accessibility isn't just about checking a box. It's about making sure real people can actually use your website. And Ally helps with that. It gives visitors tools to change text size, spacing, colors, all that good stuff. That way they can browse your site in a way that works for them. But what really makes Ally useful, folks, is the new assistant. That part scans your live site and shows you everything that might be a problem, like missing alt text or keyboard navigation issues. And it doesn't just point them out, it actually helps you fix them, sometimes with one click and sometimes with AI. My friends, what's great about it is that you don't need to understand every detail about WCAG or ARIA labels. The plugin explains what each issue is and what to do about it. And for a lot of stuff, the bot just handles it for you. Honestly, folks, it used to feel like making a site accessible meant hiring a specialist or using a clunky tool. But now you can just do it yourself, right inside WordPress. It makes your site better for everyone, not just people with disabilities. That's why Ally matters. It helps you build a site that more people can use. And it's way easier than you'd expect, my friends. Now, guys, we're going to take a closer look at the Ally Assistant plugin from Elementor and the AI-powered fixes it offers. We run our first scan using it on the homepage, and it found a few problems. In total, there were 17 issues on the main page. Some of them can be fixed right away, and after that, folks, we can run another scan. Let's go over the issues it found. They are grouped into different categories. The first one is alternative text, which shows nine problems. This is the most common accessibility issue, guys. For example, when images don't have a descriptive alt text for screen readers. Some of these are decorative elements that don't actually need a description. These might be things like arrows or icons that don't serve a content purpose. So, my friends, we can just mark those as decorative. We'll do this for all similar issues, then move on to the next category. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. So guys, we've fixed the first category. Now we're on to keyboard and assistive technologies. There are three issues related to keyboard navigation. The first issue is about focus orientation. Ally explains that any element users can reach using the tab key needs to be properly marked as interactive. And in the Varies section, folks, we can see the exact location of the issue in the code by class name. You can copy it and find it easily. The plugin also gives a clear explanation of what's wrong and how to fix it. We can open up the issue details and check which ones are fixable. There's also a button that lets the AI fix it for us. And guys, this really shows off the automatic fix feature. We can see what it suggests and then just apply it. Done! That issue is now resolved, folks. The second issue is called Visible Label Mismatch. And again, Ally shows us what it is, where to find it in the code and how to fix it. We can also let it take care of it automatically, guys. Then there's another one called Link Purpose Unclear. The plugin points out exactly where that problem is too, so we can quickly jump in and fix it. So as you can see, my friends, these issues were also resolved. Next up, we've got Page Structure and Navigation. 
In this section, we see that some content isn't placed inside clear landmarks. But thankfully, guys, Ally explains why this is a problem. All page content should be wrapped in clear structural sections or landmarks. This is especially important for screen reader users, who rely on those landmarks to navigate the site. And folks, there's also the skip navigation link. That's a special link meant to let users skip past menus and go straight to the main content. It needs to be structured properly. In the How to Fix section, the plugin provides step-by-step -step guidance. Basically, guys, you need to wrap each major section of the page with the correct landmark elements so screen readers and other assistive tools know what each section is for. There's even an example you can follow. And if needed, folks, you can skip this issue or mark it as resolved once you've fixed it. These issues are especially important for users with visual impairments. Guys, we found a few areas where the color contrast isn't strong enough. The tool highlights the exact elements that don't meet accessibility standards. You can see the highlighted text and figure out what needs adjusting. Our job, folks, is to change those elements to a better color combination. This will soon also be available to fix quickly and easily with a sidebar. You can just move until you see the green check mark, indicating contrast is fixed. We can either skip them for now and fix them later, or resolve them right away. After fixing about 80% of the issues, I can either run another scan or leave it as is for now. And folks, we also get to see how the accessibility widget actually looks on our site. You can even tweak how different parts of the widget behave. So this gives us a real sense of how the plugin works. At this point, guys, we fixed most of the issues our plugin found. A few are still left, but that's okay. Overall, it's clear that Ally Assistant isn't just a scanner. The automatic fix feature is super useful, my friends. It lets you scan and fix accessibility issues across your site with almost no extra effort. Alright, folks, so here's the bottom line. If you're building WordPress sites, Ally is kind of a no-brainer. It's free, it's powerful, and it actually helps you make your site better for real people, not just to check off some technical box. The AI Assistant is what really sold me on it, guys. You don't need to be a developer, and you don't need to memorize accessibility guidelines. You just follow the steps, and in a lot of cases, let the bot handle it for you. And honestly, that's what makes it so useful. It's not just telling you what's wrong, it's helping you fix it, my friends. So if you've got a WordPress site, especially if you're already using Elementor, give Ally a try. Run a scan, fix a few things, and just see how far you can get in like 10 minutes. I think you'll be surprised how easy it is. And hey, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you tried Ally yet? Did you find it helpful? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.